Hi guys, and welcome back to another Metal Roast reaction. Hope you're doing well. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date on all the content coming out. And today we are looking at the new music video by the band Vintersea. This is round three for Vintersea. I had the pleasure of looking at two of their other tracks prior, so you can go check them out. I'll put a link somewhere. A bit high expectations, but I assume they're gonna live up to that. Give this video a like if you enjoyed, and let's jump right in. All right, three, two, one click. All right. Some beautiful haunting clean guitars. Crystal clear clean guitars. And sparkling symbols. Mm. Beautiful angelic voice as always. It's nice, it's really building sort of like a bedrock of atmosphere. And I can imagine it's like gonna build upon it very, very intensely. Mmm, we got some phaser work happening in the background. Nice. I expect it's gonna hit now. Something. Hmm? Chunky. Reminding me a bit of like those um, atmospheric black metal vibes. Gonna crank this shit up. I'm liking this, the drum just doing that very simple pattern, but it's, it's really adding to it. And then doubling that stuff up. Lovely, lovely. Mmm, we're in a beautiful desert, just pulling along. Reminding me of so many atmospheric black metal projects. Saxophone? Saxophone? Where did that come from? What? Okay. <laughs> Some bit of jazzy in the desert. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Nothing like a bit of a jet, <laughs> a sax solo. <laughs> Straight into blast beats. Beautiful. Was not expecting that one. Oh no, they've been captured. No. <laughs> I, love, I love the focus on the drummer's face. We're learning they're such a progressive band. We're at a new section like on and on. It's beautiful. I also do like the fact that even though we're listening to a very progressive uh, band, they're not overbearing with their sort of instrumentations. Mm. 
Oh god, this reminds me of like an August Burns Red section. Sort of like Latino inspired moment. It definitely brings that sort of heat, that atmospheric heat to it. Because like guitar playing like this, it, de it definitely doesn't like bring off that whole cold vibe, it's all heat. Especially considering we're placed in a desert. Tasty. Such a tasty guitar section. I love it. Mmm. I'm very surprised to see how seamlessly they just transitioned to that bit. Such clean screens as well, which is very impressive. They don't seem distorted or clipping at all. This is like the perfect level of compression done. Okay, and so this is like sort of the chorusy section. Cool. Hmm, those vocal harmonies, beautiful. Another sort of guitar solo section. Well, a lick. Mm. Definitely a lot more guitar driven uh, than other tracks. Mm. Yeah, definitely seems like guitars have been given a chance to really play around with their sound and their tone and try different things. I thought we were going to get another, another uh, saxophone section. <laughs> the oohs and ahs uh, reminded me a bit of that, um, what is it? It reminded me of Skyrim a bit. What? Oh, that was it? Wow, that was it. <laughs> Deserts of Oregon. All right, then. All right, then. Give them that a like. So that was Crack the Light. Um, first of all, I got to give them credit for the fact that in a seven-minute long song, I did not feel if... That was seven minutes. It did not feel like seven minutes. That felt that felt good. That felt like a good length of time for this track. Um, it was able to incorporate a lot and do it in such a way that didn't feel bloated. I was not expecting that saxophone section. I thought that was really cool, switching it up a bit. I definitely starting to see a lot of metal bands incorporating um, a lot of out there instruments for the metal scene at least. And I think saxophone is one of those that really adds a different timbre or really a different sort of emotional effect to a track. And as such, it really helped with those sections when it was in. I kind of wish that they brought back the saxophone uh, for the second time they had that sort of similar section with the oohs and the ahs. Vocal performance is brilliant as always. Very dynamic, huge amount of range. The mix on the vocals is really good as well with the fact that it doesn't feel overly compressed, overly distorted. It still feels natural and gritty. It has a natural grit to it, which is really nice. I liked that even in a progressive song that it doesn't have to be overbearingly progressive because I know that a lot of metal bands can go into this thing where they want to add in as many notes as possible, as many sort of different sections as possible and sort of do away with the whole idea of being, you know, repeating certain sections, which I think is a very good thing to do. You should consider sometimes repeating sections because it keeps the song a bit more grounded. Um, the opening was great as well. It gave a really nice build up to the overall song, sort of acting like an overture for the song itself, but especially with these longer songs that go up to seven minutes, having a small sort of brief overture can be quite nice. You know, get you in to the groove, but overall very happy with the track. I thought it was great. I thought it was great. I think I more preferred it than their um, Holy Procession. I think this one was a lot more, I think more well-rounded. 
I think this one was a lot more well-rounded, was able to do everything it needed to do without being overbearing. And the fact that I didn't realize that it was seven minutes long is also a testament of the fact that it keeps you engaged. But it's not like, I don't know, it's, it's not like waving something in your face, like nonstop. It's giving that pushing and pulling effect. Really wanna see new music from these guys, because uh, if I'm right, this track is from their 2019 album. So it's 2021. So maybe we got some new music on the horizon, maybe. I said that I'm gonna leave the video here. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Write down below, what did you think of the track? But anyway, I'm gonna leave the video there. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe. I'm also doing streams on Sundays from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. where it's just sort of like a listening session. So you can come down, we recommend some music and we'll all listen to it together and get a live reaction. But besides that, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.